Hey crafty cuties, I hope you guys are doing lovely. We are going to do some fun stuff in my traveler's notebook today. Now I'm not going to go too much into detail about what I have in this traveler's notebook because I actually just ordered a new one from Melon Journal and I figured I will just do a setup video when I get that since things will change in here, but I'll quickly show you the different uh, notebooks I have in here. I have one that is for pen pals. It has addresses, different swaps, and people who I need to send thank you cards to. I have my Lister's Got a List notebook. This is kind of new to me. I'll probably be doing a video on this also. And then the last two in here are memory keeping notebooks. And this one right here is going to have photos and entries from the months prior to September, so probably July and August. Um, I have to get caught up on that, but here we are, September, and I'm just trying to get current. Oh, I, I did make a fall one as well for October. But we're going to pull out September and do an entry for that today. So one of the first exciting things that happened in September was we got a kitten. And so I have some photos here that I am going to use. And I just made this, obviously, but I don't have it sewed together because I want to be able to add different papers if I want. So I kind of have it in order, but this way I can add more paper if I want. But I'm going to work on the second page here and I'm going to kind of do an entire spread. Now I do have some things already cut out and ready to go just to help this not take too long. Um, I have this paper right here that I'm going to use on the spread and I think this is from, hmm, Doodlebug possibly? I'm not sure, you guys may know. Um, I thought it was super cute because it has little kittens all over it. And that's what we are documenting. I am really wanting to simplify the way that I do memory keeping. Memory keeping is really important to me. I have been into it since before I had my son, but I just really haven't been keeping up with it. Um, I did keep up with making a photo book, a memory keeping photo book, up until last summer. So I have about a year to catch up on. And I'm feeling overwhelmed by that, but I really, really want to get caught up on it because I do have a photo book for every few months since Alistair was born. And I really just want to be able to document that year that I kind of, uh, what am I trying to say? That year that I didn't do any memory keeping. But I've been doing a lot of other type of crafting and that's kind of why I strayed away from it. So, I'm thinking that using a traveler's notebook is going to be a really nice, simple way whoops, to keep track of photos and different things that I want to keep track of. Okay, so the only thing I'm concerned about is that I don't feel like I will be able to add too much in here. Just because you can't make the traveler's notebooks too bulky, so I'm going to at least try it and see. Um, <clears throat> I have some random little pieces here that I thought might be cute, and I feel like I want to have maybe like a word. Oh, this one says, so in love. That's cute, and I actually have it on top of a journaling card. Sorry, my phone's going off. That's kind of cute. I made this one right here, but I thought, I don't know if I'm going to add it. I'm already adding a lot of kitten stuff. But I felt like you can't really go overboard. Can you? Maybe you can. Hmm, maybe I like that. And I thought this was cute. I took this with my Polaroid camera that I just got for my birthday and I thought it was perfect timing. Um, let's see, oh this photo got kind of scratched. I printed this one out on my, we have a new printer and I wanted to test it out but it got scratched right here. It would still work but I am thinking this one's kind of cute so I could just add one photo or maybe two I'm not really sure what I want to do let's see I do want a spot for journaling as well because I definitely want to write about this sweet little girl so let's see 
I feel like I'm working on a ton of projects right now, just like too many, and I can't wait to, I don't know, just get, I, I need to get done with a couple things so that I can just focus on the things that I really want to do. I want to do memory keeping, I really want to do listers, got a list, and I'm kind of worn out with decorating planner videos. I still want to decorate my planner, but I am just getting really bored of doing plan with me videos, so I may stop that for a little bit just because there's no point if I'm going to be bored of it. So let me get an idea of what I want to do here. Okay, so I'm getting a better idea of what I'm going for. I hate to continue filming when I'm just sitting there thinking because I'm literally moving things around back and forth, but I'm feeling like maybe I should start with a doily underneath. I do want this to be pretty girly and dainty because since I have a son, I don't really get a lot of chance to play around with girly and frilliness, although I will say my son does, he is into wearing makeup and he's not afraid to wear pink and all that, but here we go. So I'm just going to add a few glue dots and this is going to hang over the edge, which I like, but I may trim that off if I find that it's just like getting caught on things. So I think I will definitely start this down here. And speaking of, or not really speaking of, but talking about my kitty, she is playing in her litter box right now. So that's cool. <laughs> I don't know why she does this, but she plays in her litter box and she like lays in it and purrs and like it's just, it's gross. Okay. So I found these little frames, and I don't know if I have any that would work. And I also kind of like this by itself, but I think these frames are cute. That, that would be cute if it was big enough, but not quite. Hmm. Could do that. See, I feel like I'm just so indecisive. So, no. Nah, we'll keep it like this. And then I'm going to, I think I'll just go for it and put the photo here. So over here I want to make a little pocket, and so I think I will start by gluing this down right here. And you'll probably notice that I go back and forth between using wet glue and the tape runner, and for me there's not really any rhyme or reason, I just grab what I grab. Sometimes I am more intentional about what I'm actually using, but... Okay, so now since I want this to be a pocket, I will actually use my tape runner because I know it works well on photos. And I'm just going to do a little strip down each side and then at the bottom so that the tag doesn't run through. And since I don't have any, I, I don't have too much space to work with, I feel like making little pockets and things is going to be key for this traveler's notebook memory keeping. There we go. And that will slide right in there. Um, I did get a little scratch on this photo. I'm just wrecking all the photos when I was cutting it. So I'm going to take a piece of this washi tape that has kitties on it and we'll just go ahead and put a little piece down there. And I think that's actually cute too. So I will write a little bit about Nancy over here. That's our kitty's name, Nancy. I kind of wanted to use some alphas and write Nancy on here, but I really like this little, I uh, so in love. Maybe I could still write her name on one of these sides. I may try that. And yeah, the idea of me wanting to use this traveler's notebook for memory keeping, I guess I kind of already touched on, but I just really want to be able to keep up on memory keeping, um, and I think that having this traveler's notebook kind of already set up and ready to go will hopefully help me, and not to mention we just bought a printer, so I will be able to print photos out really easy, and I don't have to print a ton just because I'm thinking, oh, I may use this one, or I may not use that, or I may... <laughs> Do you know what I'm trying to say? So. Um, yeah, I feel like having a printer and now I have a Polaroid camera. I think all of those things put together is really going to help me be able to keep up on this because it is very important to me. Okay, so we'll do that. And then I think I will use this So In Love. That right there. There. And then I like that the kitty paper is 
it's there, it's in the background, but you know, we have other things going on, so. Let's see, I'm thinking if I want to write her name here, but since I'm not sure on that, we'll start by adding some enamel dots, and I have these doodlebug sprinkles, and they're like clear, which I like because it's going to add a little bit of dimension, but not much color, more color, because I feel like we got, we got a lot of color going on here. And I'll just add a few around here. Okay, I'm going for it. I'm gonna go and stamp this, and if I mess it up, I'll just put some washi tape over it. It's smeared it. a little bit, that's okay. And I think I actually will write her name at the top, you guys. It is definitely killing me to not continue to add embellishments and stuff. I'm just so used to adding a ton of stuff, but if I really want to keep it simple and, you know, I, if I want to keep it easy to where it's not going to take me long at all to do a page, I have to keep it simple, so. And this may not even be very simple to some of you guys. You may be like, what are you talking about? This is not simple. You have a lot of embellishments. But I'm just used to adding lots of layers and really thinking it through, but there we go. I promise I'm done. So. Here we go, and I think what I will eventually do with, when I have like three of these notebooks filled up, so essentially three months worth, I will sew these into some type of a, an album, kind of like a mini album, but, or I guess a junk book or smash book. So that's what I plan to do, and I did decorate this cover, I guess I didn't show you guys at the beginning, but I like how that turned out. And yeah, I'm really excited for this. Let me know if you guys want to continue seeing me do layouts in this. I probably won't film all of them because I do want it to be really quick and simple and it does take more time if I'm filming it, but I will definitely share some of these with you and do some flip throughs as well. So thanks for watching guys. I love you so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye.